Welcome back to another episode of Booze Briefs. I'm Matt. I'm Derek. And this mm, looks tasty. It is. This is the Jefferson's Ocean, uh, Jefferson's Reserve. Sorry. Right no, this one's not the reserve. This is just a regular stuff. Make up your mind. Sorry. Ocean Agency Cask Strength. So they've done a lot of these. Uh, this is Voyage 18. This is bottle number 002777. Okay. That's twice better than 666. It is. <laughs> that was Glenfiddich batch 3666 uh, that we talked about earlier. So we may be doomed. Hey, maybe next one will be 888. Who knows? Well, <laughs> tune in. <laughs> so the Jefferson Ocean, I heard about it a few years ago where they take their bourbon that's aged for, you know, it's six to eight years is the word. It doesn't have an age statement on here, so you don't know. But then they put it in different barrels and then put it on a ship and cross the equator a bunch of times. And in theory, being in those barrels and sloshing around gets more of the wood of the barrel into the bourbon and allegedly some of the salty air gets in. I kind of think it's a gimmick. I do too. Like, I can see the aspect of because it's moving more and it has more contact with the wood. Right. It kind of like accelerates the aging. Well, it's not like they took you know, a thousand glasses and put them on the rail of the ship and then put it in the glasses and then <laughs> took it on a voyage and then yeah. poured it back in. But then I can see, yeah, yeah, you're getting some salt in there. Yeah, you're going to change the flavor. So their story here, this is at, this is bottled at 112 proof. Damn! Yeah. Uh, full cask strength. They took it, put it on a ship, and sent it around the world. This particular bourbon crossed the equator four times and stopped at over five different continents. Now, there are seven Just continents. say six. <laughs> right. <laughs> just say six. Say the number at over five. Wow. Man, man. I think they just wanted to sound more impressive. They had a number of letter or number of words they had to hit in their essay and mm -hmm. just throw the extra word in there. Yeah, here you go. It says, during this time, the bourbon is constantly sloshed, making contact. Con constantly sloshed. We wouldn't be able to finish that. <laughs> yes. Jeez. Uh, making contact with a large amount of the wood's inner surface, which, coupled with the temperature and barometric pressure, allows it to absorb more of the wood's flavor. After the voyage, the casks are tapped and bottled at cask strength, ready to be enjoyed by bourbon fans everywhere. On five plus continents. Yeah, uh, <laughs> but this spent, according to this, it was on the boat for six months. Okay. So that's, well, I think that's a lot of talking about what's in here without tasting it. Let's do it. What are you doing? I just don't, uh, it's a strange bottle to pour from it. I didn't want to spill it. I would appreciate you not. Ooh, that's got good color. And as we learn, oh no, that's a blend of straight bourbon whiskey. So I don't know if this can have any artificial color or not. I know the Kentucky straight bourbon can't. It's out of Louisville, Kentucky, so... But it doesn't say it's a Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey because it's a blend of things, and I don't know if that then... Well, I wonder if the salt air from the sea is considered a flavor additive. Hmm. Tell mm -hmm. us in the comments if you know. Yeah, please. There's people out there that are way smarter than us. Yeah. <laughs> like, maybe over five. <laughs> Over five. <laughs> Matt, you could just say six. Okay, yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. I don't... Okay. It definitely smells like it's 56%. <laughs> yeah, right. That, <laughs> is, that, that is hot. According to this, Run. each sip of the bourbon greets you with an enticing nose of sweet red apples, orange zest, dark honey, thick caramel, cinnamon, spicy vanilla, and oak. No. This is immediately followed by oh. a scrumptious oh, <laughs> whistle. A scrumptious and robust palette of dried fruits, cherry, more vanilla, mocha, dark chocolate, butterscotch, gingerbread, oak, and sea air saltiness. Holy they're, crap! They're not finished yet. All tied together by an intense and medium length finish of more vanilla, cinnamon, and dark chocolate. Somebody got a deal at Costco on vanilla. Yeah. My god. It's <laughs> paid for by the van uh, vanilla Wow. Impresario. Uh, that's, there's a lot going on there. Mm. Followed by, I've said it before, go punch in the palate there. That's a, that's got some, some stank. Yeah, I, think, uh, I forget <laughs> how you defined it earlier. I think it was. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of this, man. <laughs> yeah. 
A little bit of that there. That's whew. that is warm. Oh, there's a lot going on in that. Yeah, I don't get red apples. I don't. I don't, I don't know what the hell that's all about. <laughs> but uh, you get the vanilla. You get the caramels. You get the mocha. I get. Mm -hmm. I don't get a lick of salt in that. No. At all. I, don't. I think either if you are getting salt out of this, you either have a better palate than we do, which that's an option. I think there are more than five people out there, and you are, or you have a cholesterol problem, <laughs> <laughs> or you are being swayed by the marketing. Yeah, the gimmick. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't get salt. No, I'm a guy who I'm a little salt. salt. I'm a little. I feel like it's doing this a little bit though. Okay. Maybe that's where it comes from. Uh, I tell you what, I am gonna do. Add a little bit of water to this guy, cause yeah, buddy, <laughs> it's, it's warm. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Uh, there's a little water left on it. Just jump it. Yeah, let's just. Oh yeah. There you go. You just pour the glass in there too. <laughs> <laughs> the ratio might be a bit off. Oh yeah. Okay, that makes that much more manageable. Yeah. Again, the nose is better yeah. after water. Because before, I'm pretty sure that you could cure the coronavirus with that. I mean, <laughs> there's a good chance. Ooh, that coming out of your nose would be bad. <laughs> mm -hmm. Woo! Uh, that's much, much more palatable. Mm -hmm. Much more palatable. I mean, it's still, you still get the alcohol heat. But it, to a normal level. Mm -hmm. Not a... <sighs> yeah. <sighs> yeah, I, I like this stuff a lot. It's That's good. It's rich. I still think that the Glenfiddich that we had before is still one of the most mouth coating. Well, it's Scotch yeah, it, it, it should be, you know, that's that's but this is it, it doesn't like linger on your palate. It's not a mouth coating, but it has a long finish, if that makes sense. It's still going. Mm-hmm. It's still going. And I, it's creeping. Yeah. It's creeping. I, Gives you that Kentucky hug. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, we haven't figured out what the Kentucky hug is yet. Well, let us know in the comments. What do you think a Kentucky hug is? Um, yeah, remember it is YouTube and it is the internet. Everyone can see it. Yeah. But also, hey, we do not accept real answers for a Kentucky <laughs> hug. So yeah. just make something up. Let us know what you think a Kentucky hug is. Yes. Uh, so price point on that. Yeah, this guy's not cheap. This bottle... <laughs> There's the heat coming back up. It's a world traveler. It can't be cheap. That's true. It's got a passport. <laughs> Samsonite. <laughs> it's a hundred dollar bottle. Really? Yeah. Wow. So knowing that, what would you give this guy? Mm, I I don't know. A hundred dollar. I mean, a hundred dollars. I'm not going to go high on it because I just I, for a hundred bucks I. I've always walked past in a liquor store and go, <laughs> yes, yeah. ocean. Yeah. yeah right. You just don't pay to charter a ship. Yeah. Just give me the regular stuff. I'd rather have that. Yeah. You know? But, uh, I don't know. I just mid to, uh, mid high eighties, mm -hmm. say, you know, anywhere from it's, it's got good heat. I mean, I'd give it a multitude of numbers. Really? Mm -hmm. I think for a cast strength, just cast strength, I would give it 90, 91. I think for whole package, mm -hmm. 86. So you really don't like the marketing behind this? I think it's just a gimmick. Yeah. I mean, I, I think Jefferson is guilty of that, you know, with filling their casks or filling things with uh, like old red wine casks yeah. and different things all the time. I think they are always looking to hit a new like fandom of things yeah. and, and find new gimmicks. and. That's fine. It's it's good whiskey that's in here to begin with, right? But I'd rather you not send this around the world, not twenty five to thirty bucks off of it, <laughs> yeah. and then I go, man, it's seventy dollars. That's now we're talking more reasonable. And for a, just a straight up, like you take the word ocean off of that and give that to somebody, they're gonna mm -hmm. go, man, that's a really good cast strength. Yeah. Then you go, oh, but it's been on a boat. Mm -hmm. I'm like, cool. Well, yeah, I've been on a boat too, but uh, what? Yeah. <laughs> this has its swim trunks. It has its fluffy, flippy floppies. I'm going to go high 80s with it as well. I, I think I'll go 88, 89. Again, for that $100, I would rather either have a a bottle that has an age statement on yeah. it. I, I would love to see, you know, a 12-year something for that. Or I agree. I, I'd rather have two bottles of that piggyback. I'd rather have, you know, come out at an extra $5 and spend one of five and get three bottles of Eagle Rare. True. Yeah. I, I would rather do that. Yes. That doesn't mean this is bad. 
it's a it's a fun story whether you like the gimmick or not it is unique so uh, there are a lot of people who have heard it and just haven't sprung for it so it's kind of a cool bottle to share it's a shelf bottle with, with, with people yeah yeah it's one that you, you go you want something cool tell yeah. me what you think of this yeah but for a hundred bucks I you, you ever had a bourbon that's crossed the equator four times no it been a five over five over five so that could be six and it could be undiscovered ones. We know it's, oh, I was just going to say, we know it's not eight, but maybe it is. Maybe it is. Mm-hmm. Pluto. It's a planet that's not a planet. Okay, Jefferson, <laughs> if you do a bourbon from space, I think I'm done with you. Uh, I'd buy it. Oh, you oh, okay. <laughs> I'd buy it. So then, okay, so for you, you're, you're back in, whereas I'm right the hell out if they do a, a bourbon from space. It depends on if it's brought back by us or by the Russians. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Fair enough. How much would they charge for that? Seven (laughs) dollars. I have no idea. (laughs) Over five, I can tell you that much. (laughs) All right. Yeah. That's damn good stuff, though. Any final thoughts on it? I'd like to try this. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to try this again. Okay. We're going to see if it maybe concentrates a little bit. Okay. Um, Make it... You know, believe her out of me. I don't know. Maybe it will. Maybe it won't. We'll see on a later episode. Yeah. So subscribe to our channel so you'll get that future episode. The button's right over here-ish, I think. Here. Maybe it's lower. I don't know. It might be closer to my bosom. I don't really know. Yeah, we'll fix it in post. But subscribe. Get the notifications. Tell your friends. Tell your enemies about Booze Briefs. Boozebriefs.com. Fancy. We're on the Instagram, the Bird Machine, Facebook. All those are at Booze Briefs. So give us a follow there. We'll share what we're drinking, what reviews are coming up next, and we greatly appreciate it. But until next time, cheers. Have a good one.